Hey there, my name is Amir. I'll be demonstrating a different approach for creating your landscapes for games or for uh, offline rendering, such as CG animation or a CG application. Um, I've been experimenting a lot with landscapes and trying to figure out the fastest way while still having a lots of control over the results and the uh, output that you're looking for. Um, I've tried different approaches. Uh, fully procedural approach, a also uh, a hybrid between a procedural and a uh, artistic approach using a base sculpt in Mudbox and then using World Machine to add a bit of detail and add some extra, add a, an erosion pass. Um, today I'll be showing you a technique based on vector displacement maps. Um, it is pretty much uh, based on the imprint tool in Modbox. You just bring in a plane and subdivide it to the amount you want. In this case, I'm just using a 4 million polygon plane, which is suitable for a 2048 by 2048 displacement map extraction. Um, so what I did actually is create these stamps here, which, which are pretty much mountains. And um, I rendered them out from World Machine extracted extracted your displacement map, brought them inside Modbox, and uh, rendered out a vector displacement map usable usable as a uh, stamp here in Modbox. Um, I'll just quickly show you an application how of how easy and fast it is to create your landscapes using this technique. And uh, you can see, all you gotta do is just bring in a stamp and really fast uh, drop in the stamp where, wherever place you want and try to get the, the, the results you're looking for. Now, what's good about this uh, method, it, it is that it is extremely fast. You, you can get very interesting results in a minimum amount of time. And uh, you get lots of control over the results, you won't need to depend on um, using a fully procedural approach where you, you, you kind of try to figure out and try to find out the best way or ha you'll have a hard time where you'll have a hard time trying to get the, the results you're looking for. While in this case here, what we're doing is pretty much, let's say a modular approach of creating landscapes. We got mountains, these are the modular par parts and you put them together and you can always get a fairly different result and you can always add in extra detail. Even the, the amount of detail achieved in, uh, is really high compared to a traditional approach for creating terrains. Uh, let's say for example, I wanna, I don't know, I could try out, this one is a test for uh, canyons. Now this is a quick test and really really fast you can create the sort of uh, landscape formation uh, without having too much difficulties and you still get lots of control you can always go back in and manually paint some areas and heights and still get fairly different results um, now um, let's see let's move on a bit further let's say that we probably want to add some dunes around these areas flat areas here to level up this zone here so we could probably like use one of the stamps here and lower down the string to maybe around 50 and uh, we could easily like level up this area here and add a bit a different type of land and you can see it's really fast and very very intuitive and easy for artists to create any really any kind of uh, landscape they want in a minimum of amount of time while still having this nice quality crisp quality uh, that you will usually get from a pr fully procedural terrain Now really, the, the only limitation would be your imagination at this point. 
and maybe there, there might be a technical limitation is pretty much how much polygons you can display in uh, Mudbox. So like I said earlier, this is a 4 million polys, um, polygon uh, terrain. You can see here, you can see that it's displayed here. And it is readable for 2048 by 2048 displacement map and texture map. You could push it up to 16 million polys for a 4096 by 4096 displacement map for bigger and larger terrains or if you want to add some really really crisp and fine detail if you want um, but I would suggest to have a really fast hard disk in order to manage all this amount of that data because this is really if you go up to 16 million polygons your your whole file will probably be at over a gigabyte of data and your hard disk is going to struggle to load in the LODs if you let's say when you zoom in you're going to get extremely uh, the whole co your whole computer is going to be uh, really slowed down so um, yeah uh, if you want to consider using this method uh, using Modbox to create your terrains fully create your terrains for games or whatever application you want uh, I'd suggest to get a really fa fast hard disk um, I'll show you a quick example of what you can get. I mean, in this case, let's say that we finish creating our ter terrain in Modbox. All we have to do is pretty much export uh, this displacement map, render it out really fast, uh, and export it to World Machine. Where all you have to do, really, it takes only a few minutes to render out a color coverage, uh, uh, the, the erosion flows, without uh, tampering with a displacement, with, without deforming the terrain in any way. So you still keep the shapes, but you get extra uh, detail uh, on the color textures. You get erosion flows and uh, rocks displayed on a depending on a, a slop angle uh, and etc. It really ups to you. You get lots of freedom to regarding the the, the final output that you want to get. I'll show you a quick example of uh, a terrain that pretty much literally took me a few minutes to to create uh, using my box and world machine. I'll pause the video just the time to load up my terrain. Okay, so um, I finished loading up the terrain. Now this is uh, an example of a terrain. Uh, this is a 16 million polys terrain. All I have here on the terrain is a simple color map that I generated in the world machine. Uh, this one is just a snow rock, basic snow rock uh, color coverage uh, generated from the height map. Now, as you can see, the, the, the results are extremely detailed and very interesting. The, the artists can have lots of freedom and uh, can get the exact result that he's looking for. The, the, the only thing that's gonna limit him is pretty much his Im imagination. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this is another example with a different color coverage. This one, I don't really like it that much. It's just a quick test. And you could always go ahead inside Mudbox and um, directly paint some texture and information if you want with the paint tools here and organize them with, with layers just as in Photoshop and push the, 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 the detail to the next level if you want. Anyways, this is the demonstration for uh, the new uh, approach for creating your landscapes. Um, maybe in the near future, I'll make a tutorial for uh, covering the, the whole walkthrough for creating such a landscape. Um, so uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll keep you guys up to date whenever there's a new thing that comes up. All right, thank you.